So, you have your home network running behind a Mikrotik router and everything is working great with your standard masquerade rule and all. But now you have found out you can host your own web server with the new container feature in Mikrotik Router OS. Or maybe you want to run a dedicated device as your web server. You set it up, but it's not working when you try to access it by public IP from your LAN. But it works from the other networks, like from the internet. This is because your PC is contacting the web server by its public IP, but receives replies from an internal IP and basically gets confused. One solution to this issue is called Hairpin NAT or NAT loopback. Hairpin NAT allows devices on the network to access services on the same network using the external IP address. For example, if a device on a network tries to access a web server on the same network using the external IP address, the router with hairpin NAT will recognize the request and route it internally, allowing the device to access the server. Let's imagine a basic home network. In our example, we will have a separate machine running a web server. We have also purchased a domain name, example.com, for the public IP of the router, so that people can access our web server by name. This is what the schematic looks like. In our local network, we have a web server and we have our PC. Then we have a router and then we have the internet. So for the setup to work, we have a destination NAT rule like this. In the firewall NAT, we have a new rule with the chain destination NAT, action is destination NAT. The destination address 172 is our public IP. Uh, the port is 443 and two address is 10.003. Uh, this is the uh, IP address of our server in our local network. So when somebody on the internet is trying to access HTTPS on our router's public IP with the domain name example.com, the connection is forwarded to our server located inside the LAN. This is standard stuff and works well. However, when a user on the same LAN is trying to go to example.com, request is sent to the public IP of the router but the web server sees the request coming from inside the LAN and therefore answers the PC directly, not through the router. The PC receives the reply packet, but it discards it because it expects the packet back from the public IP and not from the internal IP. So to fix this, we will add a new source NAT rule, commonly called loopback NAT rule or hairpin NAT rule. So the rule looks like this. New NAT rule, chain source NAT, protocol TCP, source address, will be 10.0.0.0 slash 24. This is our local area network. And destination address will be 10.0.0.3, our server IP uh, in the local area network. Out interface is our LAN bridge. And in the action, we need to set masquerade. After configuring the rule above, the client sends a packet with a source IP address of 10.0.0.2 to a destination IP address of 172.16.16.1 on port 443 to request some web resources. The router NATs the packet to 10.0.0.3 and replaces the destination IP address in the packet accordingly. It also source NATs the packet and replaces the source IP address in the packet with the IP address on the LAN interface. The destination IP address is 10.0.0.3 and the source IP is now 10.0.0.1. The web server replies to the request and sends the reply with the source IP address of 10.0.0.3 back to the router's LAN interface IP address of 10.0.0.1. The router determines that the packet is part of a previous connection and undoes both the source and destination NAT and puts the original destination IP address of 10.0.0.3 into the source IP address field and the original source IP address of 172.16.16.1 into the destination IP address field. So everything works correctly and you can access your web page both from inside your LAN and also from the public networks.